Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing good. And I'm excited to talk to you about the Angular material and how it enhances your Angular project. So throughout this session, we'll be discussing introduction to Angular material, core features of Angular material, integration. And finally, we'll be having a small video on creating a login page with Angular and Angular material. So now let's dive right in. So to begin, let me introduce you to the Angular material. Angular material is not just a UI component library, but a complete design system developed by the Angular team. It's built on the principles of and material design. Angular material offers a wide range of pre-built reusable UI components that can be easily integrated into your Angular projects. So easily integrated means like you can easily install it and use it to your projects. So these components include buttons, cards, forms, dialog boxes, navigation elements, tables, and many more. So I ask you to just please go and check Angular Material website. So like, you know, you'll be really amazed to like, there are lots and lots of components for your, like it, you can easily make an Angular project and like, you know, uh, in a in a present way. So one of the key advantages of Angular Material is its theming. Theming and styling system provides a powerful theming system that allows you to easily customize the visual appearance of your application. You can define primary and accent colors, adjust typography settings, and customize various aspects of component styles to match your brand or design requirements. In terms of integration, Angular Material seamlessly integrates with Angular projects. This means you can easily import and use Angular components and styles within your Angular application without any conflicts or compatible issues. So I'll be I'll be showing you the way to use Angular components in project later. It's also worth mentioning that Angular Material also provides excellent documentation and resource, including comprehensive guides, examples, and API references to assist you in the in integration process. So these resources will help you to understand the available components, their usage, and customizing options. So if you are really stuck in some place when you are using Angular Material, there are various of documents and guides to help you over the internet. Even the Angular Material docs is a really helpful documentation to refer when you are developing an Angular Material project using Angular. So I recommend you to try that. So by leveraging the power of Angular Material in your projects, you can significantly reduce the time and efforts required for UI development. Its pre-built components, theming capabilities, and seamless integration with Angular make it a valuable tool for modern mod building modern, responsive, and visual appealing web applications. So now let's dive deeper into the core features, theming and styling options and other aspects of Angular Material. So now let's talk about the core feature of the Angular Material. The core features of Angular Material make it powerful tool for front-end development. Let's take a closer look at some of these features. The first one is the button. So the Angular Material offers a wide variety of button, styles, sizes, and types, make it easy to create interactive and engaging user interfaces. Uh, there are f different types of buttons for different purposes and different looks. So there are, and you can also uh, configure the colors there. All these things I'll be showing you in uh, previous, uh, in the coming slides. The next one is the cards. With Angular Material Card Component, you can organize and present your content in a structured and visual appealing manner, including headers, images, and actions. So next one, the most important one, forms. Angular Material provides pre-built form controls such as input fields, checkboxes, and selects to simplify form creation, validation, ensuring a seamless user experience. So in an Angular material in documents, they have the form like ready-made. So you can just copy it and use it in your Angular projects. So next one is dialogues. You can use dialogue components to create model pop-ups for important messages, user interactions or confirmation dialogues and enhancing user engagements. The next, the navigation. Angular material offers various navigation components such as menus, sidebars, tabs uh, to build intuitive and responsive navigation structures in your application. Next one, data tables. Angular Materials data table components allow you to display and manipulate tabular data efficiently with built-in features like sorting, filtering, and, and pagination. Guys, uh, like uh, when I was working in the project, so I didn't have an idea in this Angular Material table. So one, like when I went and checked in this their yeah, site, I was like, I was really amazed because for their functions they are giving, the options they give, there are like variety of table components. Like you can go and check. It's really amazing. Like like for it for you, if you want to create a table, it's really easy. So data retrieval and data upload and you can like functions calls in the table. It's really nice. And these are not only the group uh, components here, like there are many more components. There are a lot and lots. So I didn't want to take all my time explaining them. So I just took out some main things from that. So the next one is the theming and styling. Now let's talk about the theming and styling in Angular Material. Angular Material provides theming capabilities, allowing you to create a consistent and visually appealing design throughout your application. So the, there are six 
types of it. So the first one is the global theming. So you can easily apply a consistent visual style to your entire project application using Angular Materials theming system. It allows you to define primary accent and wall colors as well as customize typography button styles and component appearance. So this this will be asked like when you are going to install a Angular Material to your project, yeah, you will be shown a few options. So you can select it there. So like there are color gradients, so you can choose which this base color you want. So the second one is the local theming. Angular Material also supports local theming, enabling you to apply different themes to specific components or sections of your application. This allows you all, this allows localized customization while meeting overall consistency. So this thing can be done like you can uh, in the doc in Angular Material docs. So you have to show you how to do this. So you can choose the color separately or customize it with some a few extra bit of codes. The next one is customizing components. So Angular Material offers the flexibility to customize the appearance and behavior of individual components. You can override default styles and apply custom CSS to achieve a unique look for your application. So this can also be done in the customizing components. So here you can do, you can customize the component with the help of CSS. Override the basic this thing and customize it with the CSS. So the next one, the theming variables. Angular Material provides a set of theming variables that allow you to control and styling of components by adjusting values of these variables. You can easily change these themes and adapt to look and feel of your application. So the next one is the Material Design Guidelines. As, as I already mentioned, Angular Material is built on um, Material Design principle. So you can also use the Material Design Guidelines to edit components in Angular Material. So last one is third party theme libraries. So if all these couldn't do your task, couldn't fulfill your task, you have this third party theme libraries. So this is the last option. If you need more customization options, you can explore third-party theme libraries compatible with Angular Material and Angular. These libraries provide additional themes, customization tools to create unique and professional designs. So the next one, Angular Material CDK. Let's discuss Angular Material Component Development Kit, also known as CDK. This kit is a set of tools uh, that and utilize utilities provided by Angular Material that serve a building block for creating custom components and animation. So there are around six to seven in this, but I have only shown you three. The first one will be the first one will be the virtual scrolling and the cdk offers virtual scrolling a technique that optimizes rendering for a large list by loading and unloading content dynamically as the user scrolls. so this improves performance and reduce memory usage so it's like this so when a user scrolls it like rather than loading everything at once it, it has this option as virtual scrolling so whenever he scrolls the data is loaded there and I mean, if you unscrolls it like it data is wiped out so the second one drag and drop the cdk includes drag and drop capabilities allowing you to create intuitive interfaces for rearranging and interacting with elements in your application and the last one so overlays angular material provides a powerful overlay system this is one of the important one in a, so because like in all in most of these projects we have this dialog box and these things so it's really important so enabling you to create dialogues uh, tool tips and pop-ups with ease you have full control over the positioning and behavior of these overlays you can change the width of it size of it according to screen size you can do anything so there's one more thing but i haven't mentioned it in here in this but you can also animate these things so angular material the cd angular material cdk provides utilities for create creating smooth and interactive animations you can leverage these animation apis and tools to enhance user experience and bring performance to your life the next one is Let's talk about the integration. To get started with Angular Material integration, so we have to create a project first, and then add in uh, and open in the terminal and project terminal. You have to type this ng add at Angular slash Material. So if you do this, you can get you can install Angular Material to your project. And once it's done, so you can go. It's I recommend you to open the Angular Material docs and like uh, uh, they they have mentioned the components there. So you can use the, you can get this import mat button module from this code in the, so this is the button, button module I have imported. So for separate components, you have these separate links. So you can get this and you have to uh, include this in your app module.ts. So if you include it in app module.ts, it will be enabled throughout your project. So you don't have to call it every in each and every components if you're using it. And then after taking that line of code, you have to take the variable that you're assigning that link and put it inside the imports in the ng module. So if you do this only, you'll you'll fully enabling this component in your this thing, in your project. So after that, if you want that if you want to use that component component, you can just mention it in the template file. So I'm I'm calling a button here. So I'm 
because I'm calling a button here. I'm putting it in the button tag in HTML button tag. I'm putting it as mat button. So the mat button is the component there. So there are various types of button, as I said earlier. Like you have the mat trace button, mat flat button, and and out and a lot. So now let's now let's watch a short video on creating a login um, login page with Angular and Angular material. So hope you guys would. So I'm, I'm creating a Angular project in my terminal. So this is how it's created. So I'm enabling routing and the project is created. I'm installing Angular material, the project terminal. I'm choosing the theme colors and setting the typography style. And I'm also importing the flex layout. It's used for the responsiveness of the site. So I'm creating component, login component. So inside the login component, I have this login page files the ts file and the template and the component file so this is the initial page if you create a component that's the page get so i'm declaring the parts it's like the first part here will be the my login component so as soon as the page opens my i'll be redirected to the login component so it's done it's done in app routing module of ts so here the login component is called there now is the global styling style. So I'm using SCSS for the styling. So I'm declaring some styles like what I can use. Creating the main container. That's it. I'm using a uh, flex layout for responsiveness. So if this layout row shows that it's it 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 is as row, but if the screen size is small or extra small, it changes into columns. So this to input the text here. So I'm going to import all the components I need from Angular Material. So now first I need the card. I'm going to import the API and copy that link and mention it in the app module.ts so it gets globally declared. And then the form field input. So I have to declare them down below. They could come out between them.
I'm declaring some CSS that I need for the login page. Make it attractive. So that mat slash card, I'm like, I'm actually, I'm editing the component. I'm writing the component style there. So the form is done, now I have to add the image. So in Angular, you have you can't easily uh, get the images to your project. So there's a special way for you have to import the DOM sanitizer and the safe URL to get your image to this project. So I'm calling these and uh, declaring that image URL. And within the constructor, I'm going to assign that image pass to the image URL. So I can call it in the template. So I'll show you how it's done. So the image is in my assets login assets folder. So that's now a bit of a fancy text that I'm putting down below, like as angular material. I just wanted to make this login form a bit colorful, so I added that.
so it's responsive now. So there's my login form. So that's all video. So thank you for the attention. Uh, I, I try to give as much as information throughout the small time of this video. Hope you understood everything. So these are the references. The first one is for the Angular documentation. The second one is for the Angular material. And the last one is the login, the source code of this project. So that's all for this TikTok. Thank you. <laughs>